my final question for you is in terms of giving some tips to job seekers, we're kind of ending 2022 and we're entering in a month in 2023. Have you seen any changes or any trends that will come up or what's the future of work we're going to look like? Uh, what's happening? Is there anything new in the recruitment system? Mm. I think this is a really great question because everyone's thinking along these lines. And for me, the biggest tip or the biggest change um, that people should be focusing on is personal brand. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I saw in, in the early 2020s and running through this year, people are investigating the companies that they want to work for. So they're using Glassdoor and various rating websites to search for companies, see what the culture's like, see if they want to work there, if there's a good alignment with the values and so on. Yes. Well, the companies are doing that now to the job seekers more mm. than ever before because you know there's a lot of jobs out there, a lot of job seekers, a lot of movement yes. in the market. So companies are doing the same research on you. So I always say have a very strong social media presence. Spend time building your personal brand. And that mm. might be having a LinkedIn posting relevant news and articles, commenting on other people's uh, articles and information, yes. always trying to add value. Even though there's nothing in it for you today, specifically, yeah. it is building your brand and very good for the long term. Yeah, those are great tips then. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end. And again, thank you very much for taking the time to, uh, to ask a few questions. And for the audience watching, if you have any other tips for job seekers, please leave them below. And tune in next time for my final guest for the 2022 year. Again, Dan, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone.